Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to factor uh, this expression by grouping. So the main important thing we need to remember when we're factoring is, you know, there's certain techniques. Factoring, we have two terms. Factoring, we have three terms. Uh, we can use difference of two squares for two terms. A lot of times we're going to be factoring trinomials with the three terms. That's like with, uh, you know, setting them in two binomials. And it's really special when we have four terms, one, two, three, four, we're most commonly going to be looking to a factoring by grouping problem. So what factoring by grouping is, just a, a simple way to look at um, factoring. When we have our four terms where we can't already factor, when we can't factor out a GCF. Um, so because I look at this, each one of these four terms, they don't share uh, any greatest common factors, either in their numbers or their terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them and then I'm going to factor each and individual because, like I said, I, I can factor when I have two terms. I can factor when I have three terms. But when I have four terms, it's getting kind of big. So what I can do is if I can group them into two different terms and then factor those separately, I'll be able to work it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group my first two terms and group the last two terms. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the GCF of my first two terms and my last two terms and try to get the same term, and I'll explain that a little bit further. So if I look at my first two terms, I need to say, well, what do these two terms share in common? Well, they share a v squared. This one has a v cubed, here's a v squared, so the greatest common factor that my two terms is a v squared. So I'll factor that out, and I'll be left with 5v minus 2. Now, that's my one term that's left or factored. What I'm going to do, what I want to do by factoring my grouping is when I factor um, out the last two terms, I want to be able to get this. I want to be able to get this exact same factor, and I'll explain why. So if I want to go ahead and factor this out, I look at these, and what is my greatest common factor that these two share? And obviously, they both share a 5 as 5 goes into 25v, and 5 goes into a negative 10. So I'll factor out a positive 5, which will just leave me with a 5v minus 2. Okay? And again, like I said, I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to make sure that these two were equivalent to each other. The reason why is factoring by grouping, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of factor it out twice. The first thing was we group, then we factor out the first two terms. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this expression, and I notice that these are exactly the same. So what I can do is I can factor those two terms out of the whole expression to leave me a 5v minus 2. So since it's redundant, we've done it over again, we can factor them out, and I'll just be left with v squared plus 5. Therefore, to factor my grouping, when you have four terms, I group the first two terms, I uh, factor the GCF out of both of those terms, then I factored out that term out, and I'm left with 5v minus 2 times v squared plus 5. And that is how you factor by grouping.